Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between BLG and NIP during the upper bracket round one phase of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. non kind of standard stories like that. This one's a bit more of a standard story though, against the mid lane and for BLG as well, so briefly back towards the game. The Herald used that, um, and now suddenly, when you're playing against the Lucian Army, oh, Kryden's offside. Trying to get onto Knight here, the stun gonna come on through, unleash power but it's Aki tank in the tower Knight goes down first blood taken by NIP but can they escape the tide away perfectly aimed as Aki tries to save his mid laner sacrifices himself and trades almost a good turnaround play on the other side Shanji maybe looking for a 1v1 oh. all that through the wall gorgeous Q3 pulls bin back into the frame neither Force. should and Knight are going for that one as Aki is in the top half okay so NIP it's not quite as bad on the objective scenario as it was in game one, where they were well and truly shut out. But we're still getting to the point now where they have zero turrets. They're against um, two dragons, which is going to start um, increasing as the game goes on. NIP need to show us that they can fight objectives from behind the game. They haven't showed us that so far. Knight going down towards the spot side to, once again, just control one of these waves and potentially cut off Shanji, who is alone at the pass, and he's going to be cut off by BLG. Stun will land, Shun moves in as well. There's not even a tower to run to. Shanji is going to do his best here, but Shun staying on the opposite side, so no all out window is there. Knight takes a good job. Oh! And actually, Shanji gets a flash out. My god! That's yeah, Kasante is a champion, folks. This champion but... is. Um, it still doesn't allow them to get access to the camps. One of the big follow on effects of losing um, you know, most of the control of the map is that you lose a lot of your jungle camps with it. Bin is now going to start running towards Shanji and because the map is so open, the team can just take their leisurely time getting towards him and Shanji is probably on a one-way trip. Yeah, he uh, managed to find some w. kind of miracle last time. Bin does get the stun and Elk's here just to clean things up. Can he do it again? No, he can't. Elk survives quite happily on that one. He's getting close to a third item at this point. Didn't even need to use the flash for that one, so Shanji blows both summoners, and uh, yeah, I mean, they have the skies descend. They don't have themselves, you know, a gold lead, but they cannot let this dragon go down. They're in river first, so good start for them at least comparative to their other objective plays when behind. Unfortunately for them, Photic has to go catch that wave. Stun lands onto Rookie and immediately Shun dives in. Rookie forced to flash as a wave denies the escape from Aki. Shanji already lost his summoners. And Aki sent packing by Shun. BLG, they make short work of NIP's comp. Oh, lovely entrance into that fight by Knight and Shun. They pick up the first target, they force a flash out. As soon as Rookie has to be flashing backwards, uh, you can't make those aggressive kind of fly-by play. Said they've got Mojo. This is a Mojo play right here. If nobody checks it, Aki oh is Oh my word, what an angle! Come on, is there and they find Knight! The Mojo is strong, but Knight's still surviving! Meteor down, it's not enough. The Zombie is a little late from Knight, but here we go. Bin comes into the top side and it's an absolute brawl on the rift. Bin keeps them away as Elf finishes off Rookie. The culling across the team as Shun tanks on the front line. Shanji doing his best to get the team into the Knight. place. But the TP from Knight me is so deep. I can't believe he's gone from that. And I can't believe he's almost surviving as well. Finally falls, but it costs everyone. BLG, they take the mojo and they split it into pieces. Oh, Knight! They think that an NIP think that they have him in check. He puts them into check, mate, with one of the weirdest teleports I've seen in recent memory. It's on Aki for a one last attempt at a steal. He had an angle before, couldn't make it work. He has one last shot to try and make something of this. Mojo turns into Nojo for NIP. <laughs> Aki caught out and he might actually just die to bin here as well. A TP coming on through. That's going to be Rookie rejoining the play. And Aki will survive. It's a shutdown as well. That was 500 gold down. And the Zin's out. And that Lucian. All so easily able to close the gap. Shun found. Maybe a chance of a pick. He's kind of tanky. Crescent Guard comes out. Can he get away with his life? Tidal Wave splits the team. Scatter the Week comes on in. Shanji barely any HP. And the Conning flies across the team as well. NIP just about get out with their oh. lives. But they'll lose a tier 2 for it. What an insane Crescent Guard from Shun. That ultimate on Shin Sao stops so much of the follow-up damage. And, you know, NIP, that's the problem with trying to pick off the enemy jungler like that. He is just a temporary invincible frontline. 
given the right situation. NIP, because of that, against six scrubs, against the Baron buff, despite the fact that things started off well in regards to shutting down Bin as the Baron was taken, they just fall apart across the rest of this. Baron's Dragon's not going down that quickly, but Shanji won't be here to front line just yet. He's getting here quickly, might just be a flip. Aki goes in looking for the 50-50 smite here. DPS stopped on the Drake though! And the smite's a little bit early. Shun grabs it as Bin starts the fight once again. Shanji burst out once again. That's twice now that Shanji's been almost 100 to zero in the fight. And he doesn't have a third TP to work with. Now BLG pushing forwards. They've got that Mark Soul. It means they're so tanky. Elk happy oh, to nice. be on the front line. A knight flashes for the stun. It's buffered, but the unleashed power won't be stopped. Shun steps on in as NIP desperate to escape. But BLG, they don't want to give them a split second. Elk moves mid to start taking objectives as the rest of BLG. They're like a collie and NIP a sheep. They're rounding them up, putting them into the pens, putting them into the death zone. Big ultimate coming down from Rookie. Bin is in a 2v1, and I think Photic wins those, but Bin dashes away at the last second, gets away from the queue. Rookie trying to punish the croc, but he sacrificed his own life to make it happen. One for one there. Photic desperate to finish this recall off. Can Shun find the W in time? They're in the pixel brush, and Photic realizes he's not getting away from this one. Has to try and DPS it out, but Shun will find him, and the culling comes on through. Capital C on that culling from Elk. Go a two for the price of one as the kitty cat gets skinned alive with them as well. 12 to four and NIP, they want to join that coveted top three conversation. And their opponent today is BLG. It would be a way to enter it. Aki, he's been so good on the smites earlier in playoffs, but Shun has been so controlled. Into the pit he goes, but it's too little and it's too late. Stuck with the scout of the week, Colin comes through. And Aki just taken off of the table. BLG is on. Oh, just for a bubble. You know that confident when on's looking for those engages. Oh man. Well, if it hits, it pretty much ends the game. You know what? I ain't gonna criticize. Absolutely demolish. What side gonna be similar? NIP. They have 10 seconds on their jungler and they can't defend. Been TP into the bot wave as well to protect it, so Photic couldn't clear it, meaning that they get that second in here. Really smart TP, even though it wasn't long range. It's still a great TP from Bin. Two in hips taken onto these Nexus Towers. Photic does get stunned by nine, but no follow up whatsoever. Playing the slow one here for BLG, but oh! it ain't slow anymore. It's slow until they find the moment and suddenly health bars vanish. BLG with an absolute masterclass in the third game, making it look similar to that first one of the series. NIP against the ropes. It's not the first time they have been in this playoffs, but they've got to make a miraculous comeback if they want to win here in round four of Spring 2024. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between BLG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.